Uh, excuse me, who are you? A rogue planet passing by? What? No! I'm Anipotia, your planet! I've been orbiting you for the past 3 billion Earth years. Don't you remember me at all? Hmm, my memory is a bit fuzzy. Maybe I have some sort of cosmic memory loss. Tell me more about yourself. Unbelievable. I orbited at just 0 0.015 astronomical units and he still forgets his only planet. Alright, listen up. I orbit super close to you, just 0 0.015 astronomical units away. That means my year is only 38 hours, or about 1.58 Earth days. For comparison, Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, orbits at 0.40 astronomical units, and takes nearly 3 months to complete one orbit. You also seem pretty big and heavy compared to other exoplanets I've seen. Hey, no need to body shame. I'm not that big. Sorry, and I push. Uh, I didn't mean it that way. Anyway, I am about 8.2 times heavier than the Earth, and my diameter is around 34,000 kilometers. That is 2.7 times larger than the Earth. Scientists call me either a superterrestrial planet or a warm Neptune. It seems like you're covered by water. Are you an ocean planet perchance? Yes, and it's a feature of mine I'm quite proud of. Imagine, a world almost entirely covered by a deep global ocean beneath a thick, steamy atmosphere. That's kind of similar to another exoplanet called TRAPPIST-1G. On the Earth, water covers about 70% of the Earth's surface, but the oceans only account for 0.02% of its mass. For me, however, water could account for 75% of my total mass. That is about 6 Earth masses worth of oceans! My oceans could be over 100 kilometers deep, compared to the Earth's maximum depth of 10 kilometers. Imagine the kinds of sea creatures that could exist in such vast, deep waters. At my ocean floor, the pressure would be so intense that water could turn into a strange form of ice called Ice 7. It forms under pressures over 30,000 times greater than the Earth's atmosphere. It wouldn't be cold at all, but would always remain solid. Also, there's a chance I might have rings. Some light patterns seen from afar suggest rings, though it's more likely just my thick, cloudy atmosphere bending the light. Wow, I had no idea my planet was so fascinating. Your phone ringing. Your I phone think my phone ringing. is ringing. Big boy, come pick up your phone. Hello, who is this? Hi, this is the Earth speaking. The Earth? It's an honor. But why are you calling me? See that portal next to you? Step inside. It'll take you to the solar system. Well, here goes nothing.